Excuse me. I couldn't help noticing your tears. Why are you so sad? These are not only tears of sadness. Some of them are tears of joy. Who was that speaking to you just now? Oh, that was Peter and the disciples. They came to tell me that he is gone. Who is gone? Jesus, my son Jesus. I don't understand. I thought he was dead. I saw him crucified only a few weeks ago. <laughs> oh, yes, he was dead, but he is alive again. You must not have heard that he has come back to life. Just as he said he would. And just as the prophets predicted so long ago. I knew this day would come. Just as I knew that he was special. From the very first moment I felt him move inside of me. And from the very first time I looked into his beautiful face. I knew too that my life was not going to be like any other. After all, I had never seen an angel before. And then suddenly one appeared before me and said, Mary, do not be afraid. And then he told me I was going to have a baby. A baby like no other. I was elated. But how was I to explain such a thing to my beloved Joseph? Joseph, so patient and loving, not only in that moment, but through all the years of loving and caring for our very perfect baby, this special boy, this incredible young man, this man, this man who is really God. Oh, there were tears along the way like the time Joseph and I lost him in Jerusalem at Passover. Can you imagine how frantic we were searching for him for three days in all those crowds? And then to find him in the temple teaching, teaching in the temple when he was 12 years old. But I have to say, nothing compares with what I witnessed the day that he was crucified tortured and beaten and hated so. I thought my heart would never heal from that long and dreadful day. And yet, all that horror was replaced with great joy when someone came to tell me that my son Jesus was alive again. I'm surprised you have not heard that news. Many have seen him since then. Well, anyway, you have asked me about my tears. The disciples have come to tell me that he is gone, taken up into the clouds to be with his heavenly Father. No longer needed here for his earthly family. And yet my tears are also tears of joy, remembering that he told me he is going to a much better place to prepare a much better home for me and for Joseph and for all of us who love him and follow him. <laughs>